Hey friends, today is an amazing day because my favorite marker brand Chartpack Ed Markers sponsored this video to show you step by step how I use markers to sketch cars. Today as a professional car designer I use a lot of digital tools, but before them all I still love to put the pen and markers on paper to create my ideas in a better way. It helps me to find this first idea, the first spark and visualize it in the most efficient way and then I can go onto digital to develop this idea further. So now I'm gonna show you how to bring your own ideas to the paper by using markers. I'm gonna use this sketch which I did by using a very basic ballpoint pen and it's not very dark. I'm not gonna like push all the lines at the beginning to give myself a little bit of flexibility here. After using the markers I'm gonna anyway add some line thickness to balance it out. So here we have a couple of colors. First I'm gonna start with very basic gray to just add to understand where will be my shadows and where will be my light source. First I want to decide on that. So I'm gonna pick the cool gray one and I'm gonna think about where do I want the color, where do I want the light and the shadow. And I feel like I'm gonna add the light source from the other side, from this side of the car. So this part we will have more shadow areas and here I can add kind of like a blue light maybe. And here we can have kind of like a reflection, maybe some kind of like a sand orange type of ground reflection to this side of the car. So let's start with this and the purpose of this gray is very light color, it's gray as you see it's the one, cool gray one. And what I really love about this chart pack add markers is it will not bleed the pen ink underneath. So I can freely paint anywhere I want and I will be sure that my original sketch will not be destroyed, which is very important. So let's think if the light was coming from here first I'm gonna put this side reflection of the car here so it would be something like like this putting very basic marker touches here so I can already see that this this side is starting to get a little bit of separation from the other side of the car but to emphasize it a little more I'm gonna also add some shadow area here by the way I'm using very regular paper here I'm not using anything specific for markers because I like to sketch like very quick and rough style because I generally sketch for creative process I sketch for creating ideas generating new ideas and in that case to me personally it's better to create the first sketch idea as soon as possible as quickly as possible on paper so I'm just keep putting on some cool gray one very light gray and you can already see that this side of the car is in the shadow this side we don't have much shadow going on for now. I'm gonna maybe put also very quick couple uh, shadow areas here and maybe and maybe a very basic line here one more time. And this secondary times when I put the marker for secondary time as you see it makes it darker so you can use even one single marker to create like different shadings, different tones on your sketch. So now I'm gonna put some blue here on the other side of the car and I'm gonna pick this tree and I will start with the lightest one. I'm gonna just take my pale indigo and let's start adding some very basic light blue on this side. Basically it will be our light source coming from this area or it can be even like a sky reflection on top of the car. So first I'm gonna start by adding one marker line here which will be kind of showing the Y0 line of the car which is like the section line from the top here on the car. So I will put it like this first I'm putting here and then it will continue to the front and gradually I will continue to this other side. I'm gonna do it gently a little bit more to this edge so it's getting a little bit darker and here when I'm getting closer to myself close, closer to this edge I'm like putting a little bit less pressure. So this way we already created like a nice gradient coming from this part. And also on this edge I'm gonna add a little bit of blue, just like that. And here we go. It's already like a nice reflection coming from this side of the car. Now I'm gonna get my other blue here, which is the azure blue. And I'm gonna try to mix them. And this actually brings my other point, my other favorite point, which is you can easily blend these markers to each other. For example, I'm gonna pick this one. It's better to do it when they are a bit more wet of course and first I need to decide what I want, what kind of effect I want. And I want to add a little bit more saturated blue here, which is this one, 
and I'm gonna gradually bring it down here so it will be less saturated and less strong on this area. So for this I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna open both of them like loosely here, I'm gonna hold it and first I'm gonna put a little bit of on top this more saturated blue and immediately after that I'm gonna take my other marker and I'm gonna start blending them to each other. So as you see it blends really nicely and we have this cool purplish blue gradient happening here. We can always add a little more. When both markers are wet, as you see it has really nice combination happening here. As you see even if we added a lot of heavy ink here, the ballpoint underneath is still solid. It's still not melted or bleeding everywhere. Now I want to come back to this side of the car. I want to keep this in middle area a little bit more natural. Here we have the cool color, we have this blues coming here and maybe from the ground, from the floor we can add a little bit more warm colors reflecting on the car. So for this I'm gonna pick this marker here which is the Desert 10. So I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth to this side of the car, the negative surface on the side. And I will use also the warm gray one this time to combine them with each other. So I'm gonna open them both like we did before. So I will be ready to use, just like that. And I will start with the warm gray, a little bit of warmth I'm adding slowly. And then I will add the desert tan here on the most negative parts. It's quite strong color here, very nice. And slowly blending it to the side of the car. I also want to do the same here on that part of the car, still from this side I want to add this warm reflections. So I'm gonna first add a little bit of warm grey, then a little bit of desert tan. Merging each other, blending each other very nicely. So as you see now on this side of the car we have quite warm reflections while we have the cool reflections from the other side. I'm gonna add a little bit more here and then also blend it to its environment. As you see I'm being very rough, very brave with these markers because I really like this artistic effect rather than being very careful and making like a perfectly done reflections and everything. I really like this rough artistic approach on my car sketchings. As the next step I'm gonna close this desert pen and I'm gonna get another warm. I will get the warm gray tree so now I'm gonna use warm gray one and three together. I will add a little bit of darkness also to my composition to the whole paper now. So again I'm gonna start with the lighter color. First I'm gonna fill this rims, the wheels, both of them and then adding kind of like reflection of them on the floor. Some like this. And also here on this add markers you can see there are three nib design which means here you have two points and here you have one contact point so you can use like the thick lines here by using only there just like that if you want. You can make it thinner than the whole edge or if you want you can use the whole edge to make it super flat brush strokes or if you want you can use the thin edge to create like a very thin lines, thin reflections or thin areas if you want to paint more precisely. So I'm gonna put like very basic like with the whole edge reflection like lines and then I'm gonna get warm gray tree to make it a little bit darker underneath the car. So as you see I'm using now the thinner edge, it's very instinctual actually, you don't even think about it while doing. Like inside of the rims, I will put a little bit depth also by using this thin edge, just like that. And also here on the back and inside of the rim again. Here also I want to add a little bit more shadow of the car 
and a bit more blending together. As you see, we already added a lot of ink, like really heavy stuff, a lot of different colors and multiple times adding layers with the markers, but still the lines are not bleeding and to me it's kind of like a crazy because I really love to use ballpoint pen rather than these fine liners and after using heavily the markers, still having my lines totally clear and still staying at the exact place, it always impressed me. Alright, after waiting a little bit you see also the paper gets a little bit more ink and then everything blends each other very nicely. So in that stage I want to add a little bit more darkness, a little bit of contrast to our sketch. And to do that I will also I will do it on both sides. Like here I will add this darker blue which we didn't use before, the space blue. And also here we can use a little bit more saturated color maybe. Maybe we can add some banana here and I guess it will add a little bit more saturation, a little bit more color to the sketch. So I will prepare myself by also holding this other blue azure that we used to add this saturation here. So I can blend them if I need. I don't know yet, we will see. That's what I love about marker sketching process. So I'm gonna start adding it to like the core of this form here. So I'm gonna just put one line to see because it's a little bit darker and I don't wanna use it too much. I wanna keep the control on it a little bit. I will add it kind of like a reflection happening here. And right after that I'm gonna get my other marker to add it a little bit in between this reflection. So they can still blend a little bit to each other but I don't want it too strongly. Because I want to keep this darker blue to be a little bit like reflection rather than totally blend it to other colors. And also this side we can add a little bit more blue reflections. As you see they are also blending each other with the warm part a little bit. Alright, I think for now I will be done with the blue part here and I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast and color to this side of the car. For that again I will use the banana, it's a little bit lighter than this tone here but the color is more saturated so it will add a little bit like liveliness to our sketch. But again, to balance it in any case, I will keep my warm gray one with me, so I can always use it for blending some parts. But let's see, let's see how it will go. I'm adding to the core of this side. As you see, it's more saturated color, which is very nice. I actually like it. I don't even need to blend it right now with the warm gray. I will just add it to further from the blue. So it will be like from two other sides of the car, Two different approaches going on, two different light sources. I wanted to add a little bit here but I want this area to a little bit more shadow in between, a little bit more blended, that's why now I'm using the warm grey one to kill the effect a little bit on this side and blend them each other. And here also on the ground we can add a little tiny bit of banana color here. And then increase the contrast and adding a little bit more darkness with the warm grey one. And I feel like we can even add a bit more darkness, a little bit more contrast on this area by using another warm grey. Maybe rather than three, let's jump into five and I'm gonna use five and three now. Rather than warm grey one and three, I'm gonna use warm grey three and five to add a blend blended shadow underneath the car a little bit. I will start with warm grey 3, I will add a little bit of right underneath the car but I know that in a couple seconds it will get a bit lighter so I'm adding also the warm grey 5, darker tone here. I don't want to exaggerate with the warm grey 5 because I don't want to lose the control while doing it. I'm gonna add a little bit on the wheel houses as well and also on the cores of the rim a little bit. But as I said before, we can blend these markers very nicely to each other. So I'm gonna use warm gray 3 for this blending option. Just like that. So we have some wild reflections and shadows going on. 
and I don't want to mix it with the car itself I want it to be visible that this is more of the shadows rather than the car so now I can even use the warm gray one to blend this last parts that we did with the warm gray tree very roughly very loosely and still after all this heavy use as you can see the sketch is still visible I think <laughs> I guess I mentioned before but this is really one of my favorite features of these markers and I think we have quite nice contrast and still colorful sketch here so what we used so far is warm gray 1, warm gray 3, warm gray 5 we added a little bit of color with the banana and we had the desert 10 for the warm side of this sketch and on the other side we used the cool gray 1, pale indigo, azure and the space blue so for now we use this palette to create all these colors I think they blend very nicely to each other and now I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast by adding again some ballpoint on top of them and we will see how it goes Okay, while adding a little bit of thickness to my lines that's the reason I didn't sketch super strong before starting with the markers because now I can decide where I want to emphasize because I decided the mood of the sketch with these markers now I can refine my lines better while keeping in mind what happened with this marker colors for example I want to emphasize a little bit of this rear light area of this brandless car and also I want to add a little bit thickness of the lines here and refine a little bit of the rims maybe while keeping the further edges of the car a little bit loose so this way the focus of the sketch will be on this part mostly and while doing this line work let me tell you a little bit of story when I was a design student actually even before being a design student I was I think in high school or maybe even before I was watching all the videos related to car design and in most of them there was chart pack ad markers like the designer takes it and puts some amazing colors amazing sketches on paper and the design is getting selected and developed further and so on and I was always setting this kind of like a goal to myself like one day I want to be there I want to be a car designer in the studio and I want to use these markers to create my ideas in the same way and then I studied design in university I did my masters and I got my internships and then finally I landed to a professional exterior car design job so I was in this car design studio and I saw this chart pack ad markers some of them are really old some of them are newer versions and I just enjoyed it a lot many times I was sketching I was remembering my younger self thinking about being on that point on that level and it was super emotional for me and this video is also very emotional very special for me because now I have like an official connection with the amazing team behind of this brand like they're very lovely people and very supportive and it's it's just super fun to collaborate and using these markers and even before collaborating you know that I was telling that these are my favorite markers because they really are and not because of these emotional aspects that I saw from other videos when I was young but also because of the features as I said like the ink on the original sketch is not bleeding blending of the colors of these markers is amazing and it is super practical to use for me and this sketch will be officially shown by chart pack ad markers as an example of what you can do with these markers and i'm super honored to do that i'm i'm super honored to put my signature on this sketch so when we are coming to the end of this sketch i would like to say thank you very much to ad markers the amazing team behind it and also thank you for watching this channel and supporting me and liking this video to make all these things possible so as you see on the last step of the sketch I emphasize the lines by putting a little bit more ballpoint on them to increase the contrast and I'm really happy with the results with the contrast of warm and cool colors as well now I will go back to work and sketch a little bit more stuff create more stuff and if you're interested in car design don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video